The oldest condo building in the Lower East Side of Manhattan dates back to 1872. Most condo developments in the Lower East Side today are new construction buildings, and condo conversions are increasingly rare. Now, there are many other historic pre-war apartment buildings in the Lower East Side. However, the vast majority of them are rental buildings, single or multifamily homes, or co-op buildings. In today's video, we will introduce you to some of the oldest condo buildings in the Lower East Side. I'm Nick at Houseit. In case you're not already familiar with Houseit, we are New York City's largest reduced commission platform for buyers and sellers. Check out our website, houseit.com, to learn how to save up to 6% when selling and save up to 2% when buying here in New York City. So let's get started. 215 Bowery. 215 Bowery was constructed in 1872 and converted to condos in 1990. It was built as the new Amsterdam Savings Bank and it subsequently served as the headquarters of the Germania Bank before it moved to its newly built headquarters at 190 Bowery. Built on an irregularly narrow corner lot at Rivington and the Bowery, 215 Bowery features an Italian Renaissance facade which was carved from sandstone quarried in Ohio in the late 19th century. Actor Nicholas Braun purchased apartment 5R for $1.91 million in December 2019. 184 Bowery 184 Bowery was built in 1887 and converted to condos in 1999. It features four full-floor loft apartments and a ground-floor commercial unit. The Renaissance Revival structure was designed by William Growl and was originally used as a commercial space. Subsequently, the building was converted to a hotel in 1924 and artist lofts in 1969, according to the Bowery Alliance of Neighbors. There have been no resales in over two decades and residents of the building have lived there for lengths of time ranging from 12 to 38 years. 115 Allen Street 115 Allen Street was built in 1889 and converted to condos in 2005. Floors two through five are keyed elevator full floor units, while floors six and seven comprise a duplex penthouse with over 2,000 square feet of outdoor space. Apartment number three went into contract in just 12 days in July 2020, asking 2.25 million. Two Prince Street. Two Prince Street was built in 1900 and converted to condos in 1986. It is a boutique walk-up building with just 10 apartments. The building sits at the corner of Prince and Bowery, the de facto border between Nolita and the Lower East Side in the heart of Lower Manhattan. The most recent sale was apartment 4B, which sold for 2.3 million in December 2016. 195 Bowery. 195 Bowery was built in 1900 and converted to condos in 2004. The former Gaslight Factory was originally five stories, but 11 floors were added during the condo conversion to make for a total of 16 stories with one apartment per floor accessible by keyed elevator. The most recent apartment to change hands was Unit 11, which sold for 2.925 million in September 2018. 15 Rivington Street. 15 Rivington Street was built in 1900 and converted to condos in 2006. It is an intimate building with only five apartments in total. The most recent sale was apartment four, which sold for 2.765 million in May 2019. The penthouse, which features a private roof deck, lap pool, and outdoor grill, was listed for rent in 2020, asking 16,000 a month. 52 Rivington Street. 52 Rivington Street was built in 1900 and converted to condos in 1988. It's an intimate building with just five units, one per floor, and there's no elevator. While very few apartments have changed hands over the years, apartment number four sold for 2.25 million in November 2018. 75 Ludlow Street. 75 Ludlow was built around 1900 and converted to condos in 2007. The building contains 13 units and a keyed elevator. The most recent sale was apartment 2C, which sold for 1.925 million in November 2019. 17 Orchard Street. 17 Orchard Street was built around 1900 and converted to condos between 2009 and 2011. The elevator building features one unit per floor and a total of seven stories. The most recent sale was apartment number seven, which sold for 2.2 million in June 2019. 155 Henry Street. 155 Henry Street was built in 1907 and converted to condos in 1986. The building abuts the Captain Jacob Joseph playground and is technically part of the Two Bridges neighborhood, which is considered to be an extension of the Lower East Side. Initial sales in the 24-unit elevator building began in the early 2000s and ranged anywhere 
from just $90,000 to $276,000. While very few apartments have changed hands over the years, the most recent sale was apartment 201, which sold for $398,000 in February 2019. 345 Grand Street 345 Grand Street is a five-story cast iron facade building constructed in 1910 as the Grand Street Museum. The building is one of only a handful in the Lower East Side with a cast iron facade which is much more common in Soho. It was converted to condos in 2002. The most recent sale was apartment number two which changed hands for 3.85 million in June 2015. 175 East Broadway 175 East Broadway, known as the Forward Building, is a view art style structure built in 1912 as the headquarters of the Jewish Daily Forward newspaper. It was converted to condos between 2001 and 2006. The most recent sale was apartment 60, which changed hands in November 2019 for 2.375 million. 142 Henry Street. 142 Henry Street, also known as the Garfield Building, is a loft building constructed in 1912 and converted to condos in 2005. The nine-story elevator building has just 13 units in total, with several of the apartments consisting of entire floors. The most recent unit to change hands was apartment 3E, which sold for 1.5 million in June 2019. 18 Orchard Street. 18 Orchard Street was built in 1920 and converted to condos in 1999. The five-story building contains just four units, one of which is a duplex penthouse with a multi-level outdoor space. The most recent sale was apartment number five, which changed hands for 3.91 million in September 2014. 60 Orchard Street. 60 Orchard Street was built in 1920 and is one of the most recent condo conversions in the Lower East Side, with sales having commenced in 2010. As part of the conversion, several stories were added and the facade was heavily modified, featuring a composition of glass and steel. The most recent sale was apartment number eight, which sold for 2.475 million in December 2017. 165 Henry Street. 165 Henry Street was built in 1928 as the original Rabbi Jacob Joseph School Building, and the first condos were sold between 1997 and 2003. The building made global headlines in 2019 when several unit owners were busted for illegally splitting their apartments into micro units. One owner was fined over $145,000 for subdividing her 634 square foot condo into nine single occupancy rooms, some of which had ceiling heights of just four and a half feet. 20 Clinton Street. 20 Clinton Street is a classic art deco building which was constructed in 1930 and converted to condos in 1999. With 38 units, it's one of the larger pre-war condo buildings in the Lower East Side today. Resales in the building are more common than with other pre-war condo buildings in the Lower East Side due to the larger number of apartments. The most recent unit to change hands was apartment 1G, which sold for $840,000 on September 6, 2019. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. We'd greatly appreciate it. I'm Nick at Housett, and we'll see you on the next video.